Good morning and welcome to Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Westlake, Ohio, and to our prayer service for Tuesday of Holy Week, 2020. As you may know, the bulletin for this service is available on our website, www.princeofpeacelutheran.org. Our background music today is provided by composer and performer Joy Williams of Providence, Rhode Island, and is entitled Thunder Mist. Because we are doing this a little bit differently than the usual Holy Week, today we are already reaching the story of the Last Supper. And so, let us begin by joining in prayer together. God, who teaches us to love, you know that we are seldom impressed by our feet. Our feet tend to be lumpy and gnarled, dry and scuffed and sort of creaky. We take for granted that our feet enable us to balance, to walk, to run, to bike, to swim, and to dance. Our feet take us to school and to work, to tennis courts and to golf courses, to hospitals and to Lutheran Metropolitan Ministries and to the food bank. Help us in this time in which we cannot wash one another's feet to remember that the gift of presence which our feet have provided us does not depend upon our physical proximity to one another, but can be exercised lovingly in new ways. Amen. Our first reading is from Psalm 12, verses 1 to 2. Help, O Lord, for there is no longer anyone who is godly. The faithful have disappeared from humankind. They utter lies to each other with flattening lips and a double heart they speak. Our first gospel reading is from Matthew 26, 17 to 19 and 26 to 29. On the first day of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus saying, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat this Passover? He said, go into the city to a certain man and say to him, the teacher says my time is near. I will keep the Passover at your house with my disciples. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and they prepared the Passover meal. While they were eating, Jesus took a loaf of bread and after blessing it, he broke it, gave it to the disciples and said, take and eat. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for all for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will never again drink of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Our second gospel reading is from John 13, one 13, 3 to 11. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, you will never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, then not only my feet, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, one who has bathed does not need to wash except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you, for he knew who was to betray him. For this reason, he said, not all of you are clean. This is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. How is tonight? different from all other nights? That's the question asked four times by Jewish children during their celebration of the Passover supper 
a question with which it's four different answers helps them learn the history and tradition of their faith and people. How is tonight different from all other nights for us? I can think of two answers, one from history and tradition and one from life right now. In our faith history and tradition, on Thursday of Holy Week, and yes, we are getting there on Tuesday this year because we are doing things so differently. On Thursday of Holy Week, we celebrate the Last Supper, but we also mark, literally or symbolically, Jesus' washing of his disciples' feet. We don't do that in any other sort of service, not unless it specifically relates to that ritual performed by Jesus. In our lives right now, tonight and this week and month, we and our lives are different from all other times that we have experienced because touch is largely not available to us. We cannot reach out to many of our loved ones and even caregivers must employ the barriers of personal protective gear. It's ironic, isn't it, that when we consider Jesus washing his disciples' feet, we must do so at a time when we love by physically distancing ourselves. It can be hard to believe or understand, but today it is our empty streets and stadiums and concert halls, our replacements of personal visits with internet connections, and our solitude replacing our gatherings that are signs of our love for one another, for our communities, and for our world. As we seek to flatten the curve, let us remember that we are enlarging our capacity to love, as Jesus called us to do. Today, we are different from all other days in practice, but greater and wider and deeper in love. Amen. Today, let's pray particularly, particularly for those who serve. Loving, gracious God, you sent us a son who was a healer. And today we pray for those who offer healing in so many ways, in ways of political leadership, in ways of organization and processing in our cities and towns and states, in ways of sharing food and other assistance to one another by distance, in service by those who are doctors and nurses and other hospital personnel who tend directly to the ill and put themselves on the front line every day so that others may be healed. Bless each and every one of these people who offers themselves in service, in healing, for the greater good of our world. In this we pray in the name of your Son, the greatest healer of all. And we pray together the Lord's Prayer from the Gospel of Matthew. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. Amen. As always, we offer you music to help you reflect. It's indicated in the bulletin. The first song is called Hold On. It's performed by Nicole Nordman, and you can find it on YouTube. The second is O oh Love, How Deep, How Broad, high, How High, as performed by the First United Methodist Church in Denton, Texas. This is also available on YouTube, and the link is in your bulletin. You may also sing along by finding it in the Red Lutheran Worship Book, hymn number 322. Our final blessing of the day. May we be kept close to the loving care of Jesus, Lord and Savior, who bends down to wash feet and teaches us to reach out to one another in new ways. Amen.